how glad and honored I am to be here with uh, my fellow poets, Lucy and Martine, and with young Kate. Martine did describe our conversation between him and me walking over here. He was kind about my poem, and I, I did make a remark about how everything we wear, the music we hear, the light that's coming down here, the building, the things we eat, if you knew enough of the history of it, you would find about suffering and pain and injustice and disproportion. <laughs> to put it another way, everybody here was made by two people. <laughs> they, behind them, there's four people. Go back just a couple of generations, there's eight. Let's stop at eight. <laughs> Multiply everybody in the room by eight. And think about those stories. I'm going to try to turn it around into a more optimistic way. Yeah, the podium, the book, the shirt, the microphone, the electricity, they all come from a lot of pain. And uh, production demands a lot, of, a lot of labor. To put it differently, here in a mill town where Irish immigrants had a very hard time, here in this town, we have a poetry festival. Mm -hmm. We have a school here. Jack Kerouac didn't come from nowhere. He didn't invent Jack Kerouac. He didn't invent the English language. He got it from school. He went to Columbia, he went to an Ivy League school. So the things we do, if we do them well enough, we do them right, as my colleagues did with their language. It isn't only that everything you touch it's got something, you know, the leather <laughs> and uh, uh, the bag. It isn't that everything comes, if you knew its history, from pain. It's that history also can produce good things, and we can labor too. And uh, that's, that little sermon is my way of saying to Michael and Sarah and Paul Marion and to all the poets and all the people who are part of this, very good beginning. This is also a beginning. It is also a culmination. Thank you very much. I guess it's impossible for you not to begin with the poem that Martina alluded to. Shirt. The back, the yoke, the yardage, lapped seams. The nearly invisible stitches turned in along the collar, turned in a sweatshop by Koreans or Malaysians gossiping over tea and noodles on their break, or talking money or politics, while one fitted this arm piece with its overseam to the band of cuff I button at my wrist. The presser, the cutter, the ringer, the mangle, the needle, the union, the treadle, the bobbin, the code, the infamous blaze in the Triangle Factory in 1911. 146 died in the flames on the ninth floor. No hydrants, no fire escapes. The witness in the building across the street who watched how a young man helped a girl to step up to the windowsill, then held her out away from the masonry wall and let her drop. And then another, as if he were helping them up to enter a streetcar and not eternity. A third, before he dropped her, put her arms around his neck and kissed him. Then he held her into space and dropped her. Almost at once, he stepped to the sill himself. His jacket flared and fluttered up from his shirt as he came down, air filling up the legs of his gray trousers, like Hart Crane's bedlamite, shrill shirt ballooning. Wonderful how the pattern matches perfectly across the placket and over the twin bar tacked corners of both pockets, like a strict rhyme or a major chord. Prints, plaids, checks, houndstooth, tattersall, mattress. The clan tartans invented by mill owners inspired by the hoax of Ashen, 
to control their savage Scottish workers, tamed by a fabricated heraldry. Bailey, McGregor, McMartin. The kilt devised for workers to wear among the dusty clattering looms. Weavers, carters, spinners, the loader, the docker, the navvy, the planter, the picker, the sorter sweating at her machine in a litter of cotton as slaves in calico head rags sweated in fields. George Herbert, your descendant is a black lady in South Carolina. Her name is Irma and she inspected my shirt. Its color and fit and feel and its clean smell have satisfied both her and me. We have culled its cost and quality down to the buttonholes of simulated bone. The bising, the sizing, the facing, the characters printed in black on neckband and tail. The shape, the label, the leaper, the color, the shade, the shirt.